I'm Paul Smithyman. I'm the Associate Production Manager of Lincoln Centre Theatre and I've been here since Arcadia. It's the only way I remember years now is by the shows. But the other part of that is uh, the shows all start melding together when you've done a few. <laughs> like about, I've done about almost a hundred shows here now and uh, um, it gets a little tough sometimes remembering them. What I do here is I tend to pick up the pieces that fall between the cracks of the, uh, the various departments of, of production, the, the scenic design, the, the lighting design, the costume design. There are oddities that fall between. And um, a, for instance, a very recent for instance, is uh, um, in Happiness, uh, on one of the um, uh, uh, rehearsal reports, uh, there was a note about Oh yeah, we need a, a, a chicken in a bag that moves across the stage magically. And I thought they were joking. And I talked to our props coordinator and, I, and she said, yeah, I got to put a chicken in a bag. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's good. funny. But we actually had to do that. And um, the amount of hours that were spent on the chicken in the bag, uh, proportionately to the rest of the production would be a bit of an eye opener if you put it in a pie chart. Anyway, what we ended up doing was, um, Finding a toy, we got an Elmo. Uh, not a Tickle Me Elmo, it's an Elmo that sings songs and tells stories. Um, and uh, we turned him into Robo Elmo. We chopped things off and added this, and we had to re uh, rework the, the, the chip inside so that we, he wouldn't stop, he would keep going if we pressed the button. Then we, we tried times uh, that we, the act to press the button, and then there were other times the actor didn't press the button. We uh, on and on and on. But funnily enough, that becomes a wow situation because uh, um, when it worked, it worked so well, it disappeared. The challenges of Lincoln Center well, I would say that maintaining the high standard that has been attained here without breaking in on the wonderful freedom that artists have here is, is a tremendous challenge that uh, our wonderful leaders do amazingly with. That's really quite impressive that you go from a show like Twelfth Night where we had a swimming pool 60 by 60 on stage and this amazing cast and running around and, and a great uplifting experience with a great director, Nick Heitner. You go from that and then you're like, well, how do you top that? And then you end up doing a show like Contact, which came out of nowhere, and then that topped that. How do you top that? You end up doing a show like Light in the Piazza, Coast of Utopia, and here we are with South Pacific. It is quite stunning when you, when you start to break it down that way. It's very civilized working at Lincoln Center Theater. And um, the, it begins with the, the trickle-down theory coming from uh, Bernie Kirsten and Andre Bishop, who are terribly civilized men that understand what they are doing and love what they are doing. And it starts there and down it comes. And that goes right the way through. All, all our stagehands, they love working here. They want to work here rather than anywhere else. I mean, sure, some places I'm sure they can make uh, more money downtown on a... Uh, a big show there, but um, it's funny, they keep coming back and they're very happy folks and we're happy to have them and we create a situation of trust here uh, with these guys um, that is hard to find. We can leave them, they can leave us, we, we do what we do, we don't have to look over each other's shoulders. We have an opportunity here to give freedom. The action of the artists are not quite as restrained as in other areas where financial freedom is kind of different. Not that it's, it's that simplistic, but that plays a, a large role in giving the freedom to the artists that they have here to really be able to create without conditions. There are very few conditions here. They come in and they, are, they, they create. Uh, and having that both in, f in front of an audience, uh, that knowledge of that situation that, that people have when they come and see a show, but also having the knowledge within the theatre community that there is always a Lincoln Centre theatre there where you can be free and yes, thank goodness, you're, you're not pinned down like you are in, in other situations where you gotta get the certain kind of gross or you're working at that little known for profit where, oh, okay, so we've only got 500 bucks, but you know, it's okay to work for 50 bucks a week. Um, 
that plays a very important role that, that, that people know this is here so that there is a sort of true spirit of the theatrical endeavour that goes back 3,000 years.